Hello guys and welcome to my review of uh, Space Marine 2, the PvP um, version of the game. So obviously you've got the campaign, you've got the PvE and then you've got PvP. Uh, now when I bought the Early Access Edition, which was very Early Access, um, um, so I got it before its official release uh, and basically PvP was in possible to play just absolute uh, lag uh, couldn't do anything um, and basically pretty much unplayable so now it has an update it is slightly more playable there is still a bit of lag uh, there are some very um, imbalanced teams uh, in three games where my team was absolutely wiped out pretty much all three games in a row that wasn't really any fun uh so they hopefully they might sort that out later there are certain um classes that are better than each other um and basically their game let's just give you a brief summary it's just not uh up to standard right now um like I said, it's quite imbalanced, um, and unfortunately, there's customization is great if you're playing the loyalists. If you're playing um, chaos, there's hardly any customization at all. Um, it's quite quite bad. Uh, so that is another bad thing about the online game. Uh, since if you're playing Chaos, you're going to be looking exactly the same in every game. Um, um, obviously, there is the problem of, at the moment, there are only three maps. So you will be seeing the same maps over and over and over again. Um, so, I mean, that just isn't good enough for a PvP. PvP. Um, or, you know for any game pretty much it's pretty terrible and I think they should have maybe just not released it with PvP until they brought out more maps um, also it's it still sticks with the old 6 versus 6 uh, quite honestly I think that's not the best way to be um, to be um, playing this game I think there would be a lot more interesting if it was 12 versus 12 or even more uh, especially these days you don't really expect many games to be just uh, 6 versus 6 um, that can lead to a lot of annoyance with certain players that might accidentally kill you over and over again um, you know so you're just going to get a lot of a bit of griefing and stuff like that so that that's a bit of a problem um, and in general I just think it's just needs a lot more work right now the chaos customization the balancing the maps just you know if you do actually get into it and it's performing better for you uh you might enjoy it but you're gonna get pretty bored of it pretty quickly um with only three maps and not many different modes basically capture the zone uh, you know that kind of thing is pretty much all you're getting um and obviously be nice to have some more classes which this, they do say they're going to be um putting out there uh in the near future you know maybe having um <clears throat> uh, who knows apothecaries that kind of thing in the game which would be nice um and i just think it's quite uh, an embarrassing uh part of the game when the campaign is so good and solid the pve is a lot of fun you at least get six different maps in that that could do with a lot more work to be fair um making it a little bit uh i could do with at least three more maps already uh let alone like six months down the line you'd be getting playing the same maps over and over again with the same enemies it's all quite um you know a bit lackluster in everything um uh, and honestly you know i might 
might review it again in like six months time uh i think it might be in a much better place um you know obviously having hopefully having a lot more maps uh customization for the chaos side um and maybe a bit more balanced uh but as it stands it's only okay um i've only i honestly don't play it as much as i would have liked to because it's just not particularly balanced it's not uh particularly fun right now uh because it's still a bit of lag uh customization is bad uh and the three maps it's just it's just not good enough right now anyway uh i'll just give you a summary of what how the score out of 10 i would give it a, a six if not a five out of ten to be honest uh it's it's at the moment it's there um and six months down the line it might be pretty good but as, as it speaks it's just there filling a gap um and that's all it feels like um yeah so five or six out of ten uh and like i said in my other ones i review each one separately each mode separately but i'm gonna at the end i'll give you the overall score of the whole game the overall score of the get whole game is eight out of ten uh, the campaign's great pv is very good um but yeah pvp is the real, real major letdown that brings down the score overall anyway if you did like the review guys give it a like and subscribe because i'll be bringing you more uh reviews later on even maybe more reviews of this game in particular uh yeah bye bye guys <laughs>